He's a mom and a lawyer turned screenwriter turned stand-up comedian. The funny brown mom highlights the immigrant and American experience with her own unique style. Sarna Garg joins us now with more on her comedy journey and some upcoming shows here in Chicago. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Namaste to you guys and namaste, namaste to your audience. Thank, Thank you. So excited to be here. You had a very unique childhood and adulthood and managed to do a whole lot of stuff in that time. <laughs> Or I just survived somehow. <laughs> it's more like it. We will make it a story now. Okay. <laughs> but you were 14 when you left your house, right? Yes. That's yeah. pretty brave of you. Uh, or clueless. <laughs> As life works out, when you're 14 or 15, you think everything's just going to work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you take that leap of faith. Yeah. That's more like what happened. Okay, so you come here to this country. Yeah. You had $9 in your pocket? Nine, 10000 in the bank, though. Oh, nine in the pocket. Oh, okay. well, as long as you got access to the yeah. bank, then you're okay. So, how did you go from being a lawyer to a screenwriter and then a comedian? So, you know, it's a really easy transition to make when you're a really bad lawyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. When the law thing is so bad that I used to go to the courtroom myself and tell the judge, I'm like, my, Your Honor, my client has robbed the liquor store. I'm sorry, my client has not robbed the liquor oh, store. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. The judge himself was like, maybe you want to do something else. Uh -huh. How did it go over when you started doing comedy and, and your mother-in-law is mm -hmm. a part of your special? Yes. And I would imagine in your culture that would have been very upsetting. It was, and it continues to be. I mean, there's always people trying to stir the pot between us. That's, you know, that's part of uh, being in a community. But now, because it's it's getting all the uh, positive vibes that it's getting when they see how much fun people have in the audience, it's kind of come a full circle. It went from, why are you doing this, to, like, how can I be a part of it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, I can imagine it's tough, first of all, just being a woman in comedy. Mm -hmm. Now you're a woman from India. India in comedy. Yeah. I mean, that's got a layer. How do you get people to, to book you and, and, and want to come see your shows? It's a, it's a fight, but you know, we're, we're women. We're used to fighting sure. for our way. Absolutely. Yeah. So because we don't expect anything easily, like we, we're we ready. We're okay. ready for a war every yeah. time. Every show, even on the streets. I did shows for free on the streets of New York when the pandemic was going on. I was ready to like find whoever I could to tell two jokes to. Uh, so it's it's not easy, but it's not easy for a lot of us, and mm -hmm. we keep trying to find our ways. You know, you find collaboration. You guys have me here spreading the word sure. in this great town. I couldn't be more grateful. What do you, what do your kids think about it? I know my kids are already embarrassed by me. Let alone you take the TV aspect out of it. Yours have got to be somewhat cringing. So my kids don't know I do this. <laughs> How do you keep that from them? I leave my house in scrubs. Oh, <laughs> real? My, yeah, my LinkedIn profile says Mount Sinai. That's awesome. <laughs> How old are your kids? They, they're old. They're pretty old. No, I'm, that's a joke. It's yes. a joke. I mean, they're part of it, and they're actually instrumental in building my whole TikTok uh, account. You know, I didn't know anything about TikTok. I, like a lot of people my age, I assumed it was 14-year-old girls twerking. Yeah. And it's really <laughs> not. It's a big platform, Instagram. Like my kids taught me a lot of what I'm doing. I'm doing because they taught me how to do it. They taught you how to twerk. <laughs> <laughs> and is that part of the show? Because I want to see that. And you know, that's gonna. One day I'll put it up there just to embarrass them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you've really taken the social media uh, and made it part of your world. Yeah. Well, that's one way women are, are succeeding. Yeah. Like, that's, social media is a world where women are more comfortable, I think, than the men maybe on the margin. And we put ourselves out there and we find our tribe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I certainly found my tribe on social media for sure. Okay, so one of the things is with the show, when you do these shows, I imagine you have to do a lot of traveling. Yeah. We saw that you're married, you have kids. How does your husband support you in this? So I think my husband, we've been married 24 years uh, this year. I think he's very happy. <laughs> he's like, go. Yeah. Just go. <laughs> you know, uh, if he, my kids are older, so it's easier now. Yeah. I think it would have been different if I left him with a baby in diapers and yeah. then it would have been, you know, freaking out. How are we going to do? You know what I mean? But uh, now it's easier and he thinks he's so hands-on. My kids are older now, but he thinks he's so hands-on and I let him believe it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, it's easier that way when they believe it. You're, tell us about the shows you've got here in Chicago. So I have a show on Sunday night at the Laugh Factory, at the iconic Laugh Factory at uh, May 15th. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see everybody there. I hope everybody turns up. We're going to make fun of... Uh, 
I mean, there's going to be nothing is off the table. Uh -huh. So I tell people, I don't worry about who's going to get upset. None of it is. It's comedy. It's all meant in good humor. Yeah. So yeah. nothing's off the table. Mother, no. Mm. Sorry, mom. No. Oh, no. Yeah, well, she's yeah. in India right now, but you didn't say she sings curses, though, right? She, she finds a way. Like, <laughs> even during the pandemic, she was talking me. Oh. On TikTok. Oh. <laughs> On TikTok. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Fantastic. So funny. Thank you for having show. me. That's awesome. Namaste. All right, coming up, non-traditional beer